Hi, this is Julie with Beta Halik, and I want to show you how to make this bracelet. We're titling it the Bracelet of Thrones because it's very regal. Uh, this was done by our designer, Carlin, and I want to show you how to put this together. And I'm doing this in a video form because one, it's a very uh, trendy, popular design right now. Also, you have to go ahead and open this chain with jump rings versus using a wire cutter. So because there's something different with this chain, I really want to show you how to do it in a video form. But it's very easy to make and it looks really fantastic. So first off, you're going to need to know how much chain to use. And to be able to figure that out, you're going to need to know how much this clasp and the jump rings is going to add. And it's going to add about an inch and a quarter. So keep that in mind when you're going to be cutting your chain. So you're going to buy the chain by the foot. And I love this chain. It just has a great hammered look to it. It's really substantial. It's quite weighty. So if I wanted to make a seven and a half inch bracelet, and I know that my clasp is going to add about an inch and a quarter, I need about six and a quarter inches of the chain. I'm going to want to cut my chain right here. And we're not going to actually cut the chain. We're going to separate out the chain links. So these are open chain links. Some chains have open chain links and some have closed chain links. All that means is an open chain link means there is a slit where they come together that has not been soldered. If you read a product description and it says a closed chain link, that means it's continuously soldered and you cannot open it. You have to cut it, but these are open. So I'm going to take two pairs of wubbers. Now I'm using wubbers because these are very strong pliers and this is a heavier chain. So I want to make sure I use pliers that are going to be able to give me some strength to them that, you know, I'm going to be using some arm strength, but I also want to make sure I'm using a strong plier as well. So I'm just going to, pry them apart, and this is taking some strength. This is a solid chain, but it's definitely doable. There we go. I separated it out, and now I've got my length of chain. I've got my two jump rings, my 22.5 millimeter lobster clasp. I have a really pretty textured jump ring, and my crown charm by Nun Design. So, going to open my jump rings, link it to one of the end links of the chain, as well as the clasp, and close it back up. Now on the other side, I'm going to open another jump ring, and connect it to the last chain link on that side of the bracelet, and close it back up. Okay. So the basic structure of my bracelet is now done. And now I just need to attach my charm. If you want to make this a necklace, you'd use the exact same technique. All you would do is purchase more chain. There we go. So we have the Bracelet of Thrones and you can find all the supplies for this project as well as hundreds of other projects and videos at betaholic.com.